Anyways, get up. We're about to record a YouTube video. This isn't time uh, for chilling so... out and eating ice cream. It's so hot. I don't care. No one's doing that. You're in a hot country. You know what it's like to be hot. Get up. It's not as hot as it is here. Get up. Uh, also, I don't normally go to the beach in my own country. Uh, Dolly, Dolly, get her up. Get up right now or else. I will attack you with this spoon. Oh, no, that's one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you, unless sorry. you want buttons in your eyes. Yeah, do as no, I say. No, that's no, no, what no, no, I no, thought. No, no, no. That's what I thought. No, I don't want that. I like my eyes as they are. Well, that's nice. Hello, wonderful little beans. My name is B, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell. And of course, use star code B when buying Robux or Premium. Thank you so much, everybody who has been using my star code recently. Roblox sent me a lovely email that lots of you guys have been using my star code, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. Today, we are joined by Iris, who couldn't even wait five minutes to have an ice cream after the video. She just had to have one now. Hello, Iris. Hello. So, as you guys may be aware, a new update for Royal High came out recently, which released some new toggles for various items in the game, as well as some reworks. One of the main toggles, of course, was the release of various different toggles that came out for the Dear Dolly heels. Now, when it comes to the Dear Dolly heels, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this update and why I think it's a really, really big, important update for Royal High, and why I think it's going to open up a lot for the future of the game. But I thought, who better to accompany me in this video than somebody who actually strangely uses these heels in all of their outfits. Perfect, right? Because she wears them all the time for some reason. Even before the toggles came out. Don't you, Iris? I think it's just that because, I mean, basically, back when I was starting out, I was like, well, obviously there's not a lot in season. I mean, it was during the, the um, what's it called, spring season. We just had the cherry blossom set. So, aside from that, it was just a permanent set. So, obviously, I decided, well, I need to buy a permanent set, don't I? Mm. I obviously looked at them thoroughly, and I decided, well, the Dear Dolly heels are very nice. Uh, it sort of just, just became my thing. If it were me, and to be fair, I did my first set that I actually bought was Royal Rebel. But if it was a time period when there was no like seasonal set available and only a permanent one, which to be fair, I did buy it shortly after, and I wanted the heels, I would just buy the Fluttering Butterfly because it comes with really beautiful heels, and I'm also tall in real life, so it kind of works for me. But I realise that you don't want to be tall because you're not tall and you're really short. Right now, we look the same height in Royal High because we're wearing heels that have the same legs. But don't be fooled, you guys. I am much taller than iris in real life now more importantly i think this update for the dear dolly heels did take the old in my opinion very meh heels and make them into heels that fit into the modern game that we have now the thing is is actually iris is using a toggle right now for her dear dolly heels without the garters or the ribbon if i go ahead and put on the dear dolly heels right now as well just because you know the ones with the same let's make them the same color as the heels that i'm wearing right now because I wanted to match my outfit. You'll see immediately that it doesn't look right on me. They, I mean, I get taller than you, which is interesting, but they don't really look right because I wear a big poofy dress. I kind of go for items that make you look a little bit more on the plus side, that sort of side, I feel like. And then these legs are incredibly thin. So they don't really work for me personally. But if you go ahead and toggle them, the other toggles look so much better. If you can see the top of the thighs, then they don't look quite as thin as they seem when they're covered up by a dress. The dress I'm wearing obviously covers up the thighs, even in short mode, which makes it a little bit harder for you to see them. I personally think that the no socks and the ribbons are the nicest option that you have. I think these are really gorgeous with the no socks option. I think they look really nice when you're wearing them. They look nice no socks with the garters there as well instead of the ribbons, but I personally think that these look nicer. Now, obviously, Iris, you might have a different opinion. Which toggle do you think is the nicest? I personally, I mean, I feel like it depends on the outfit. For example, for this one, I tend to prefer to have the socks. I think that for that outfit, because there's so much skin already out, because you're wearing like a cropped yeah. top and a really short skirt. I feel like, not. I mean, if you guys prefer it like that, then have whatever you like. But I feel like the socks add a little bit more color and dimension to the outfit. I feel like when you have bare legs with that, it kind of just, you're not really wearing anything in the bottom half, just really, really bare. So I kind of see that. But yeah. whereas with this outfit that I'm wearing, the dress is really long and covers a big chunk of the main body. So I feel like having the bare legs 
really it makes it look nice. I used to use the Monterey heels with the tights turned on, but I think it looks a lot better with like the socks instead like lure down the ankle socks now the thing is with these heels you guys and the reason why i think they're a big deal and important for the future of the game is that obviously as many of you will be aware there are a lot of items in royal high that have been out for a long time that just don't really fit with the new current royal high that we play the royal high we play right now is very very different the colors are different the vibe is different it's much more modern a lot less royal looking i'm sure you can tell i mean iris you didn't play royal high around the time that i first started but back then everybody dressed in like really royal looking outfits when i first joined that's why the royal rebel set was like really popular because people tried to dress as see. royal looking uh, so you did see that back then um yeah because you started out in 2018 and you did some royal high videos at the time uh, already mm -hmm. and obviously i watched them so yeah, yeah so this was like it. after the chicken heel period everybody was kind of going down the royal route which to be fair mon Cherie would fit that really really well but it just so happens that mon Cherie sort of came out at a time period where people were stopping to wear that more royal looking stuff nowadays people just go for i don't really know how you'd explain this vibe i just say modern like modern royal high because it really is just more of creating your own aesthetic nowadays rather than matching anybody else the royal high community really like to create their own OCs that are really unique and special to them now and i think that this current version of royal high needs more diversity with the items but the older style items like the original dear dolly heels just didn't fit very well with most outfits obviously if you made an outfit around them like iris has before like with outfits where they fit really well you can make them look really good but for the most part toggleable heels are really important because shoes in society in general and what we all do with our wardrobes we usually choose our shoes based on our outfit not the other way around and normally our shoes you don't fit with every outfit you don't just wear the same pair of shoes for everything i mean some people do of course but for the most part you choose shoes based on the outfit you're wearing you're not going to go to a fancy party wearing a really nice party dress and then have like wellies on you know or like a big mm -hmm. thick black boot you're going to wear heels or a flat open like her shoe or something like that or sandals or something with something like that you're not going to wear some really thick obviously you're not going to wear really thick um brown boots at the beach for example you're going to wear like sandals or flip-flops so usually your shoes develop based on what you're wearing so for example this dress that i'm wearing right now i feel like the sock would look all right i feel like if you wear the sock one it would look fine but i feel like if you're wearing it with say the garters and all of the ribbons it looks a bit weird bare leg goes okay but it's not like perfect with this sort of dress, but I feel like the bare leg vibe goes really well with one of my other OC outfits that I've got because it just fits really well with that kind of vibe. I think changing the heels though shows a lot more in my opinion about Royal High than just the fact that there's some toggles. I feel like the devs, whether we realize it or not, are actually listening to us when we say that we want more options, that we want more things to be changeable and they are implementing it. And while obviously I realized that lots of the heels and things have still got lots of changes to be made, I think it's really nice to get to see that they are actually implementing future and changing things up. Do you like to use any of your heels, Iris, or do you literally just wear Dear Dolly all the time? <laughs> I mean, I think my main OC, just Dear Dolly heels. I do use other heels sometimes. Like, for example, I have an outfit that uses... Well, obviously, this is the opposite subtract heel. What, um, was that opposite subtract? I thought it was Summer Fantasy. No, I'm pretty sure... Well, okay, maybe it's Summer Fantasy. I, I thought it was Summer Fantasy because you looked like you pooed yourself the way you were standing. So, for example, this one uses December Stream. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I tend not to use December Stream heels unless I'm covering it really well with a skirt like this. So, obviously, I use Mon Cherie when I'm wearing them with, like this type of outfit but my other like vibe my summer sort of outfit that i wear with the short skirt i'm pretty sure i usually wear cookie cutter heels yeah because if you wear december's dream your legs are super super thin so i don't really like having super thin legs so i'm not super thin in real life i like to wear heels that, in my opinion represent the legs that i have in real life cookie cutter heels are perfect for that because they're quite thick in the thighs and stuff and around the shins and legs are quite thick and i really like that personally so i tend to wear that but obviously people will go for different vibes depending on what they're wearing what heels are those ones are they opposite track yeah this is definitely opposite track yeah 
So I think it all depends what you're personally wearing in your outfit. But I do like that they are clearly adding toggles to older things too. Obviously, a lot of the newer things have had these changes for a while. But in my opinion, it's really nice to get to see that they're also adding these changes into older things. I think sometimes with the older items, it's easy for us to be like, eh, you know, just leave them, let them die or whatever. But some people really like them and appreciate them. And one of the ways that you can add more options to Royal High without releasing new items all the time is is to make changes to older ones, add toggles to them. I think with the Dia Dolly heels, it's the best way to go is to add toggles because people can still use the default item if they want to. They don't have to lose the original uh, legacy item that may be attached to many of their outfits in order to accept the rework, but they also get the reworked versions through toggles so that that way they can have it if they want to. And personally, I think that that's the best way to go, adding toggles for the options. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but the cookie cutter heels, um, these are actually lover loafers that I'm wearing right now, but cookie cutter and lover loafers mm -hmm look very well together so they're very similar these loafers as you may know you originally came out just like this you could only wear them like yeah. this when they first came out and then they added the, the option the one told me about. yeah they added the option for you to tug them into big girl legs what they're called but they're actually like more specifically just custom legs so you can swap them from the roblox legs to custom legs <laughs> if you want and i personally feel that when they did that when they added those custom legs it made it a lot better for people because for people like me i don't like using the roblox ones it makes you look really short in comparison with everybody else and they're just not my vibe Definitely. i know some people like them but yeah it's but familiar. that's what made them go really high in price as well in the community yeah adding the toggles makes a big difference in my opinion and, and i really like it i absolutely love the way that people have done the reworks for these with the custom legs and the bigger legs and stuff and i think that customizing older items and giving us toggles for them opens up a lot of doors for customizability in the game without sacrificing the need for the devs to have to spend loads of time making new items so it's kind of like adding new items but to the older items that already exist but having to implement whole new things and i personally really like that so i personally feel that this update while obviously a small update that not many people talked about that much in my opinion i think it's a really important update because it shows the devs are really committing still now even though it's been a long time since the last years i got toggles added they're still committing to updating the game and items that already exist and proving to us that these items are not going to be going anywhere when the new school comes out and giving us more options and i really really like that especially since so many of us have you know connections or nostalgia around the older items so it's nice to be able to get to use mm -hmm. them I prefer this over yeah, the system of replacing them. One thing that I know as well is like, say for example, the, the crown I always wear, Mermaid Royalty. When that was reworked, they removed the old version to replace it with the new one. And I think that that kind of is a shame because you lose the ability to wear the old one in order to replace it. I think adding a toggle for the new versions is the way to go in my opinion. So I'd like to see more of that in the future. Obviously the original developers who create it, if they want the old version to be replaced, that's for them. If they want it replaced for a reason, then fair enough but i do think that adding toggles is the way to go and i'm curious what you guys think so please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this do you think this was as important of an update as i do i really do think it's a really integral update that shows us the future of royal high and also by the way you should also comment down below that you hope iris gets well soon because clearly there's something wrong with her since so she can't keep her head still so um <laughs> that's why i don't use any other walk pack animation other than the jam jam Jew one by the way i like the princess one by that jam jam Jew because it stops your head from doing precisely that that happens so yeah, often but... and it's very annoying to me but you can't hold a teddy Look or at, anything. If you like, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure putting in my butt, in my butt, basically. <laughs> in your butt now? My butt. Oh, please don't put your teddy bears uh. in your butt, you guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and a nice comment down below. Make sure you go and subscribe to Iris. The link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.